y'all. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is in your local time frame of the world. I hope everybody is having themselves a wonderful start to the uh, 2022 year we have going on here. Uh, looks like everything is showing live on one side. And uh, just uh, getting a couple settings set here. Um, showing excellent connection there, so... Things seem to be working. Now I just gotta know if I can be heard or not, since that's a little difficult for me to check from my end. But we'll go ahead and we're gonna do some be doing some fi Final Fantasy XIV today. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, just doing main main story quest. I've I recorded a video of it over on Twitch. Recently, I will get that uploaded here soon. Uh, so we're going to be picking up where that video left off um, with a couple of little tweaks. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. Let me find my... See, I'm, I'm using a different um, software than I normally do for, for Twitch. Uh, I'm using uh, OBS here on YouTube. I figure, try it out YouTube, we'll try out OBS too, just give them a, uh, the double whammy. Uh, so, uh, you know, try out one thing, we'll go ahead and just try out two things at once. So, uh, let me go ahead and get uh, into the game. And uh, get my game up here where I can see. I want, before I go do much, I want to run a couple of dungeons as Summoner. Kind of get further used to Summoner. So, I am quiet. Okay. Let's, uh. Let's. I'm quiet. Let's see what I can do about being quiet. Because so I've got everything maxed out here. It's actually showing uh, filters, audio filters. I don't have any audio filters on it. What about game? I mean, is game sound okay, or is it just me in general that's quiet? So let's see what we, what we got going on here. Like half a minute. Well, <laughs> yeah, I mean, there, there, there is mental lag as a thing, too. Uh, so let me see here. That is, that is a lot. Game is quiet too. Okay. Let's see what we've what I can do. Audio. Output. See, I'm not sure what to do about me being quiet. Thank you. 
Hi there, Ember. Is it, uh, it has to go, yeah, you can hear me. Bye, bye, Ember. Uh, so I don't, I'm not sure where to find what setting to make me louder. Okay, let me see here. I mean, it, it, let me actually let me check. Let me just check the general PC settings. So that's at a hundred there. Okay, is it, is it that well, that really spiked me up in the uh, that really moved things up, started uh, peaking a little bit on the um, graph that I've got. Does that make me any louder in this in the uh, stream? So actually, I can bring game sounds up here a little bit there. Just move that slider up. Does that make me? Am I? Am I any more audible now, foxes? Because it's it's peaking a lot higher on the the graph that I've got. Yep, that's louder. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully, it's not too much louder. I don't don't want to be blasting at any um, headphones users' uh, eardrums here. Just found it. Yeah, it's just that button there. So I'm much louder, but not too okay. It's actually what I did. Actually, I can reopen that settings. I can readjust that here. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea anyway. Bring this down to about 85. Cut the delay down about. Oh, just your end was the, the delay. Okay. Uh, actually, I did show a quick frame drop there, but not much. Um. But yeah, I brought the sound. The sound was it 65 in the system settings? Was it 65 for the microphone? I brought it up to 100. Now I brought it back down to about 85. That should be tolerable. Uh, let's see. I want to make a glamour plate for. The body I've got on right now is okay. It's now also not too loud, but not too... Okay, yeah. <clears throat> so an 85 in the system settings is a good volume setting for uh, stream. Ooh, I kind of like those gloves. Ah, oh, they're ninja, though. I need something summoner can wear. I don't think that hat's gonna. I'm gonna set this up and I'll see if the hat will take. I gotta do a different hat. I don't like the half. I, I, I don't. I don't like the blindfold. Ooh.
I'll, I'll, uh, had what? Oh, is there an emote? Let's see. Let me see. Looks like a. It looks like a buffering circle, but it's stalled to me. Uh, I'm not sure what you're saying. YouTube has. I know the the. Unless it's one of the P7 emotes, and I don't have P7 uh, or 7P up on this uh, computer at the moment. Close this. It's a static. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Looks kind of good. There. Zoom in to see what it actually is. I'll do my, my zoom in. <laughs> uh, there. I, you know what? I like that look. Okay. Let's see. I don't think I have them doing anything at the moment. Just selling stuff. Ooh, excuse me. Because my inventory is full of crafting junk. But let's get off to... Story quests. Yeah, manual zooming, yes. It's like, zoom in and enhance. <laughs> so I can't fly here yet. I need to go hunt down all the... Uh, The, the aether currents here. But we're not aether current hunting right now. We're, uh... uh we're out here main story questing. Sitting in the car for... <laughs> okay. Well, as long as you're not driving and streaming, I can, you can still, uh, for like a second, depending on how much, uh, signal you've got, you can watch stream while you're in the car, as long as you're not the one driving. Uh, experience severe aether sickness. For your test, you will be exposed four times. It should be enough to ascertain your blessings and protective capability. Hi and bye again, Ember. <laughs> Oh, see, that's why Fox. That's why she doesn't want to uh, use CarPlay. Yeah, that's why, uh, that's why she doesn't want to uh, watch me while in the car. She's too busy talking on the phone to you. I see how it is. I'm going to uh, take that off. Do this a little bit so I can see chat a little bit better. Ah, uh, commencing. Etheric exposure testing. Repeat, commencing your etheric exposure testing. Retreat to a safe distance if you are not the subject. Follow Drunken Deepa's lead and try not to fall behind. Oh, yay. Instead of an escort quest, it's a uh, follow the leader quest. Please stand back. Just stand back, or I 
Struck by a powerful blast of ether, but suffer no ill effects. Subject has no irrepressible urge to empty their stomach. Confirm. Zooming test. Please follow. The drunken Deepa. Actually, isn't there a... Targeting. Well, who I'm targeting? Living Aether, please stand back. Struck by another powerful blast of Aether, but suffer no ill effects. Subject stomach and bowel integrity holding. Confirmed. Resuming test. Please follow. I was an interesting, uh... <laughs> interesting benchmark to know uh, whether or not uh, your, your testing is going well, and, and it's, it, that's whether or not your bowel and uh, stomach are intact. Further back. Okay, there we go. You're struck by yet another powerful blast of Aether, but suffer no ill effects. The blessing of light appears to be keeping you safe from harm. Subject fortitude rated impressive. No irregularities confirmed. Resuming test. Please follow and brace for final discharge. Talking about bowels and, and stomach and discharging, I mean, this is just all in all not a very friendly conversation right after breakfast. <sighs> Therapy exposure testing concluded. Please collect and deliver me to the supervising alchemist. call it a drunken deep, I mean, just because the way it moves. <sighs> the strength of your blessing is beyond doubt. There is no risk the tower will corrupt your aether. With this, we can request your aid for the task ahead with easy hearts. You're a capable warrior, too, are you not? Would you be amenable to assisting me with another errand? You see, our talisman requires the use of a special ink. We have exhausted our stores of a key ingredient for it. Spirit weed. Is that also known as marijuana by any chance? The herb grows not far from here, and I would like to go and harvest some. With the recent spate of kidnappings, however, we Arcasadora travel alone at our peril. Will you not come with me as escort? I would compensate you for your troubles, of course. I'm in your debt. Without further ado, let us head to Kajaya's Footsteps. It is situated on the road which runs east of the Great Work. Actually, you know what? Uh. Oof. Uh, hamsa. Instead of having some ham, some ham, you got a hamsa. I'm just gonna peek through. Actually, I'm guessing we're gonna go up through that way. Oh, okay, guys, just <laughs> player. I, I may simply be imagining it, but I feel as though we're being followed. Bum, bum, bum. 
Look out, Tesselhoof! Sets a hostile presence. That was easy. Gods, but that gave me a fright. To think that the moment I ventured outside the safety of the work. Thank the sisters. Saw someone with a license plate. It said, Black Mage, yes! <laughs> Thank the sisters, I ask you to come with me. You're alright, I hope. See, I'm keep getting, I keep getting frame drops here. Let me check something over on... Uh... That 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 is that would be a very cool uh, license plate to have. Yes. I need to uh, look at a couple other settings. My, my, my bid rate's not too bad right now. There for a minute, I mean, it tanked. I think I need to give my uh, uh, wireless relay a, a break at some point. Even when the computer's off, the USB is still connected, so I might want to uh, just like unplug the, the, the wireless relay for a little bit tonight. Followed in her well, you know, they came to this place to train and dedicate their dance to their ancestors. A happy benefit of this is that spirit weed grows here in abundance. I will set about harvesting it once, if you would be so good as to stand guard. Kidnappers aren't like to return soon, but better safe than sorry. Survey, look around, make sure, uh... Oh. Trigger into a cutscene. Actually, that license plate might not necessarily mean Black Mage. They might mean that they're a wizard in Minecraft, so they're a Block Mage. Yes, that would be Rad Zadhan. Hardly anyone has been allowed in or out since our troubles with the tower began. The faithful citizens huddle inside the city walls, and commerce has all but ground to a standstill. I pity the satrap, the trials he must be facing. <laughs> what? Can you tell me of the satrap? Well, he... He is the most important person <laughs> in Radzat now, 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 I suddenly want to make a uh, wizard skin for Minecraft. Long ago, so I can be a block mage. This island was home to two tribes of Matampa. The Gajasura and the Arkasotra. When the Aura came to these tribes, Arkasotra. Shores, it okay. was the Arkasotra with whom they joined forces. Together they defeated the war like Gajasura, Forcing them to flee Thavnir altogether. 
peace and prosperity reign for a time until a clan of Hyor from the mainland decided they wanted the island for themselves. Of course, everything's peaceful and quiet until a human show up. The of the present satrap who arbitrated that conflict and welded the warring factions into the nation we know today. And ever since, a member of that esteemed lineage has inherited this somewhat unique position. You see, by and large, the state is run by the people. But when problems arise, it is the satrap who mediates a solution. The stability provided by the satrap is what has allowed Rad's at Han to thrive all these years. It's not really news. No. No, yeah, human, humans coming in messing things up. No, it's not a and new phenomenon. it was phenomenon. the satrap himself who entrusted us with this duty. We will not fail him, nor our countrymen. What is the delay with the vessel? I told you I need to adjust those ratios. Man, I know it was meant as a, a bit of a low insult, but there's a line from Matrix that's kind of always stuck with me. I come all this way to admire oh, the splendid towers, and what do I find? Fools attempting to ward off its tempering influence with magic trinkets. I seem to See, somebody got a wardrobe upgrade too. In ages past. What was that man's name? Oh something? Owen? Oh, another, another body, body, another time. time. Who could be expected to remember every trivial detail? Hmm. Allowing them to construct such handy talismans would be counterproductive to my plans. And yet, I find myself deathly curious. How will they manage this feat with the limited knowledge and resources at their disposal? <laughs> Complications be damned, for we cannot escape the nature of our souls. And I, as ever, am my own worst enemy. Okay, uh, line, line from the Matrix. Um, Agent Smith is talking to Morpheus. Says that the, the, the type of being, the type of creature that humans uh, match the most, resemble the most, with their tendencies to come in and instead of adapt to the environment, start to change the environment to adapt to them, is that we are, essentially, we're a parasite. We're, we're I wouldn't say we're a full virus. But we're we're a parasite in pretty much any environment we go into. Which is, it has me both hopeful and nervous for us settling other planets. You know, like Mars. Because there isn't a whole lot for us to screw up on Mars. It's pretty much a dead planet as it is. But how much of our own creation and establishment there that we ourselves, you know, parasitically make. Super, yeah. yeah, whatever we build on Mars that we get parasitically make, would we then parasitically destroy of our own? So yeah, parasites of humans are super parasites. Yeah. <laughs> I was I was gonna I was gonna wait until Twitch to mention this, but I'll go ahead and mention it now. It's just a thought I had last night about um, you know basically there being guys who are just total jerks and assholes. It's not a new th uh, if you go back to the classic song. Um, 
I don't know for sure if this is the title of the song, but it's the, the chorus anyway. It's the, um... It's my party and I'll cry if I want to. Just put down the face of this thing that I'm coming in from behind, isn't you? Probably inside that tower. Um, it's my party and I'll cry if I want to. In the, the story of that song, uh... The singer is upset because her friend Judy just left with her boyfriend Johnny. Which kind of a kind of a douche canoe move to do. You know, you've got your girlfriend, you're at your girlfriend's birthday party, and you're leaving with a new girlfriend. Just in the middle of the party, no less. You know, total douche canoe maneuver. Uh but then um there is a follow-up song. That not as many people know, but that follow-up song is called, um, again, I don't know if it's the title, but it's the chorus anyway, uh, is Judy's Turn to Cry, where Judy has now been left, Johnny's now left Judy and gone back to the singer. So now Judy's crying because Johnny left her. So Johnny left the singer at her own birthday party with Judy. Now he's leaving Judy and going back to the singer. If you ask me, the singer and Judy need to get themselves a pair of baseball bats and just put Johnny in his place. Show, <laughs> show him that's not how you treat people. Because he's just going back and forth between the girls. That, that, no. That's just, no. But so that that rock that song was originally in the I want to say 50s or 60s, 50s maybe. So so w <laughs> women were singing about how evil their their boyfriends are. Even when the boyfriends come back, they're kind of still singing about how evil their boyfriends are, even back then. So believe me, Taylor Swift's got nothing. On, on breakup songs. Uh. Okay, giant skull. And I just skip. I was talking and skipped through almost that game dialogue there. Giant skull is a type of ore found on the island. But it's hard to see ethereal conductivity. Its applications in many disciplines, alchemy not least of all. Corey Weird is found, aptly named Giant Skull Grounds, is far away, so it shouldn't take much of your time. Okay, so you need me to go on a fetch quest now. But I'm a summoner, not a miner. <sighs> oh, okay, so I don't need to mine the ore. Look at you. So it happens I have an errand of my own. What team is the outpost nearby? Can you borrow a pair of Hamsa? By all means, do try to be patient with them. Those that survived are still in training. I will bring the Hamsa to the entrance. Meet me there when you are ready. A miner? Well, I can. It's just hard to be both at the same time. You know, because I got this gear that's all set and, and attuned and, and focused for uh, transferring magics into summonings. And then I've got... Uh, This gear that's all set and attuned and adjusted for most ease of use while mining. So. Trying to do both in the same set of gear would be like uh, trying to dance ballet in a full suit of armor. So I gotta go this way. What games you've got? Do you have on there? A 
Lamsa have long been kept as livestock in Thavnir, Thavnir, and many a hatchery may be found here. Alas, the largest of those was recently raised by monsters from the tower. On account of said hatchery being situated near the tower, the Radiant Host repurposed its remnants as an outpost. That is where my errand takes me, and your own destination is but a stone's throw away. If you have no objections, let us first make for the outpost. We set forth at your word. So yeah, what what uh, what games do you have on that little handheld console? Four Swords Anniversary Edition. Ooh, because I, I, you could probably find Zelda Four Swords. The Anniversary Edition was probably yeah a very limited release on it. Okay, I haven't ridden dodos before. Be warned, they have a wobbling gait. Yeah, look at that birdie booty bounce. It's like trying to go back and find the uh, the original versions of the the uh, original Star Wars movies. Sword Legend holds is wielded by the Manusia against the Moraga before it was cast down. Okay. Uh... Uh, you, you, you can find the original Star Wars uh, pre-gold edition. I think only on VHS, the held by collectors. The hatchery is atop the cliff. The outpost itself is on the beach. Uh, there's something almost hypnotic about the the the. the the birdie booties there. Yeah. But I think taking it, putting it onto a computer as a backup copy would be allowed in case something corrupted happened to the software of the console. Uh, but distributing it, distributing it from there would be the highly illegal part. Okay, I'm so just checking something here. Okay. And here we are. Manned by the Radiant Host, this outpost is our first line of defense against the tower. The evil trough uh... Wait, uh, Who should it be but young Varshan? On an errand for the safe trap? I am. His Excellency bade me come to collect your report. Old version of a game, which... <laughs> what game? He also wished to express his heartfelt gratitude to the brave men and women of the Radiant Host for their unflagging dedication. We simply do our duty, but we are honored to receive His Excellency's regard. And yet, for his boundless benevolence, his treatment of one so young could be regarded as callous. Though we have enjoyed relative peace and calm these past few days, this remains the front line of battle. No place for children. Your predecessor too often traveled alone. It's been, what, two years now since you took over? wonder how that fellow is faring. Like those before him, he went on to represent the Satrap in foreign lands. Wherever he may now be, I am certain he is well. As for myself, I assure you that all I do, I do of my own volition, and gladly. I pray you do not think ill of his excellency. Certainly not, lad. Whatever happens, my faith in the Satrap is unwavering. But still, I worry for you. We would be overcome with sadness if something were to befall you, for you are as, uh, you are as a little brother to us all. Take care, do you hear? I will. Nabdeen, thank you. And who might this be? Not Hanish by the look of him. Permit me to introduce Tasselhoff Burfeet of the Eorzean Contingent, come to assist in the making of the talisman. From Eorzea, you say? Towers have appeared over there, too, yes? Tell me, what is the situation like? 
May I suggest you exchange some information with our soldiers? Both parties would stand to learn something of value, I believe. Oh, Shovel Knight, okay. Is that on that console, too? Uh, given the interest in nature of the threat, some of ours are understandably anxious. We would be glad for any tidings you can share. You two, bring Varsha on the latest report and answer any questions you may have. Sound. Well, if, if, it's, if the game is hard-coded onto a ROM on the console, on a handheld console, it's not going to have the um, the memory or capability of up, of updating it. Uh, you know, it's it's not like it's a it's a software patch upgrade when when everything's hard coded. Getting a bit of information. <sighs> not a physical, yeah. It's not like it's something on disc or even on a download. Ah, uh, that um, would just sit on a hard drive to be patched and updated. Oh, it is a software download. Okay. So I wonder why that particular version or edition didn't get any of the uh, updates to get rid of the bug fixes. Yeah. Uh. Maybe the way they pushed out the updates, they just didn't bother to update the particular console. Ouch! Thing threw a seed at me. Look at the wings on this thing. There, blaring me, blaring in my face. Forgot how to get over there. Snag that aether current. So even software on the, the cartridge has been updated, okay. <sighs> Stack the purest giant skull. We always set some aside for our alch alchemist friends. Yeah, it makes me wonder how, you know, if, if how they update cartridges 
can uh, if they if they can update other games on that console to, via their cartridges, why didn't that one get updated? We were talking about the birdie booty earlier. Check out the booty on this thing. Oh, zoom back out. Walk. There's some wobbling cheeks right there. Save data to the cartridge. Yeah. But see, save data. Now I'm getting, I'm going back to Nintendo cartridges, the original NES cartridges. If they maintain save data on the cartridge, it's because there's literally a uh, small battery on there that would keep a capacitor charged, and it was—it wasn't a whole lot of data. It was basically a safe state, you know, a handful of flags set in a certain spot. So it didn't take up a whole lot of memory to do that. And even then, it was very limited on uh, how many save files you could have. Um, but a, a, a game software update would be considerably, considerably more memory than a set of check marks in A, B, and C. In a file. So. But again, most of my cart again, most of my cartridge experience is from like the the early console days of NES and Super Nintendo and Sega. So it uh, depending on how that co handhold console you have there is designed and set up, it may be you know it may have a whole different uh, save storage system and better capabilities for updates. I would still think it would be, I mean, just from a, a programming and design standpoint, it would be easier to, to do updates store and store them on the console rather than the cartridge. I see our taskmasters have allowed you a moment's respite as well. You have to hand it to these alchemists. They are determined to see this endeavor of theirs succeed. I've never been one for blind optimism, but I sincerely get the sense they're close to a breakthrough. Oof, elbow pops. They had better be, or all this effort was for naught. <sighs> the peoples of Eorzea, of the Far East, of Thavner, children of this star united in common cause against a dire threat. Yet ere they succumbed to suicidal madness, were not the Telophoroi born of her body as were we, they who cling to life and the promise of the morrow's dawn, against they who desire death and an ending of their own orchestration. Gotta be the so fanciful with your words, don't you? Alone will hold the right to answer the question of existence, of its meaning, and its worth. Poetic and ominous to a fault. <laughs> that said, if it's an existential debate in nature, then our arguments might not be as persuasive as you'd think. Fandaniel wants to die and take everyone with him in an orgy of pain and suffering. 
an utterly vile and unforgivable idea. Now, in general, I don't have issues with orgies, but orgies of pain and suffering... If that's your kink, fine. I'm not going to go for that. And yet, when spat upon by fate and wailing in the deepest pit of despair, who among us can say they have not entertained similar thoughts? There are nights black as pitch, bereft of hope. And no words of comfort can reach you. And it's all you can do to grit your teeth and choke back the bile. The more you see and suffer life's injustices, the more difficult they become to bear. Vengeance is nurtured in similar soil. Though your anger has a broader focus, the sentiment is much the same. A fervent desire to destroy others, to see them drown in torment as you have. That about sums it up. The will to endure is not always as strong as the urge to burn it all down and salt the earth. Survival be damned. It's a struggle, often close and brutal. Indeed. Well, I, for one, shall pray survival proveth more appealing in the end. As will I. Besides, real, real truths of the world being much improved when we've the company of others committed to the cause of life. Our vengeful dragoon here is proof of that. <laughs> what is it? What did you see? Van Daniel. Yep. Are you sure? Yep. If he knows we've been working on a countermeasure. Oh, he's known for some time. The vessel holds. This is the one. At long last. Look, we have finally created a talisman strong enough to withstand our experiments. Woohoo! We've named it a warding scale for the time being. With this in your possession, your soul should be completely shielded from corruptive ether. That's got a lot more infinity stones on it than Thanos ever had. Afforded such protection, any one of us may approach the towers without fear. Thou hast mine admiration. It is an invention of historical significance. I thank you for your kind words. But I would prefer you keep them unsaid until we test the talisman's efficacy in the field. It is for the next stage of our plan that we summoned you in the first place. To accompany me to the Tower of Zot. Should the scale prove effective, as I very much hope it will, then you'll have little to do. But should the effect be weaker than anticipated, I must ask that you restrain me, or knock me senseless. Uh, let's hope it doesn't come to that. I like that monocle. Either way, and the the earpiece kind of reminds me of the Bajoran uh, earrings from uh, Deep Space Nine. Nidana, I. I... Are you certain you wish to do this? <sighs> if Excuse others me. Are to trust our creations, then we must have faith in them first. <clears throat> and as the senior researcher, it falls to me to lead by example. But should I fail to return, then learn what you can from this attempt and apply it to the next. Our work must continue. Is that clear? We'll keep an eye on the place while you're away. Assuming Van Daniel is lurking about, there's no telling what mischief he has in mind for us, or you. Be on your guard. I'm always on my guard. Shall we be on our way? I'll have one of the soldiers at the hatchery prepare us a boat, 
and we can set out from the northern shore. I'll see you there. I need to see if I can find... I mean, I'm sure I'm not... I know I'm not level enough for it yet. I need to see if I can find a... Uh, wait. A... Uh, vendor that takes tombstones for higher gear still. Yes. I'm not going to run this full quest, I'm just going to get it right now. The last time you were by, and she was devastated that she missed out on the chance to meet the adventuring, adventurer Aiden students of Valdesian. Okay. That's a quest for an Aether Current. So I definitely want to complete that one. It's Alchemist or Dancer. No, I'm uh, speak tipping the scales. Wanting to move main story quests along today. I will do uh, Aether Current quests and hunt Aether Currents another day. Because now that I know OBS works and, and the uh, stream to YouTube works, uh, then I can. I'm more easily set up and can do this uh, more more quickly another time ouch my chocobo stubbed his toe I'm not used to having enemies come after me. It's been a while. Geronimo! That tingled a bit. That is a very ugly looking walrus thing. Very dead, ugly looking walrus thing. You should become corrupted, do not stay your hand. Of course, if prey does not come to that, then she must protect yourself. So, if she, she, if she becomes corrupted, then, uh,. We need to do something to stop her. No, we head over to the Tower of Zot, built by the Talaferoi. The intent of wiping us all out. Of the tower's influence. Any moment now. It's working! And you... you are still yourself? Then I'd like to see how it fares closer to the tower if we could. Okay. So good. The scale's protection appears to be holding. If we can just make it to the tower's entrance. She's got her own magical uh, force field up. A few 
more steps. Let me catch up. So that way, if I have to stop you, I'm not half a mile behind you. Praise be to the sisters, we made it! And the scale has proven itself to be everything we hoped it would be. Now we can focus on production. Once we've equipped and returned with an entire survey team, this menace will soon give up its secrets. Yeah, I know. I've, I've seen this part at least on, on Pine Street. What? Because she was fine until the tower grabbed her. Now we got all these uh, elephant folks sucked into the wall. The damn fan Daniel. Thrashing about like that. Stop! Oh, you can't do this! Please! Kind of wishing I was ninja form right now so I could just run up behind him and just double stab him with my daggers. It's not as easy to be as stealthy when you have to bash somebody over the head with a book to knock him out. I'm just readjusting my feet A on my footrest late here. For heroics, I'm afraid. Mm. The similarities are striking. My, my! Such hostility! Never before has my artistry so displeased. My patrons <sighs> of old would have positively squealed in delight, though, between you and me. I find gushing praise exhausting. Patrons of old? Allow me to tell you a story. Surely you've yet to hear the one about Van Daniel, the sundered Asian. He's an Asian, all right. The position and the soul of the Van Daniel who sat on the convocation in the time of the final days, theoretically speaking. Practically speaking, that fact is of no consequence. I was born and lived as, well, me. Eventually, I was recruited into the Asians and imbued with the former Fan Daniel's knowledge and memories. But I never felt that they were truly a part of who I am. So, with the other Ashians, they were, you know, basically the spirit form of... They, they were the, the, the entity from before the Sundering. This guy has been implanted with the soul and memories of Fan Daniel. After having lived a life of his own. How to explain? Perhaps if I told you who I was before my Asian embrace, although that chapter too is a past I've long since discarded. I have it on good authority. You've poked your nose into an elegant ruin or two. Yes? Yeah. Then I expect you've heard of me. The old me. Echo! Um, at, at your, your service. service.
Imagine a nation of unbridled prosperity. Every need met, day after day of unbroken, unshakable peace. Existence fulfilled and ripe for decay. You are a genius without peer, Amon. However do you conceive of such delightful experiments? That fool was beside himself with panic when he awoke with the head of a bull. <laughs> Even his cries for help emerged as so much guttural lowing. Oh, 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 the memory of it. <laughs> my poor sides. My friends and I were so consumed by laughter, we struggled to breathe. No more than entertainment for bored wastrels ignorant of its worth. My all-consuming work. And this is, I, not their yeah. Only indulgence. they were ever hungry for stimulation slaves to the slightest hint that amusement was afoot our nation was ailing but i would see the poison purged i resurrected a legend our first and greatest emperor And just as I had planned, he set our wayward empire back on the path of conquest. Conquest, An ho! Inexhaustible ambition carried us onwards, always onwards. Yet, he who delivered to us such glory was not to be satisfied. Heed me, Armon. No matter how vast one's empire, or full one's treasure vault, all is rendered meaningless by death. In the end, all is lost. You know as well as I that the Emperor stands to lose this war. And so I Aha. come to claim you. Emmet Selk. For while your methods leave something to be desired, we cannot deny the results of your work. And as fortune would have it, the seat of Van Daniel, your rightful seat, lies vacant and waiting. Take your place amongst your peers, rather than die a pointless death amidst the ashes of your doomed nation. Send one of your clones to the Crystal Tower that you might see for yourself. See what lies ahead. Ba -ba -bum. The fall of the Empire affirmed the truth. Majestic and tragic, as the Emperor foresaw. Scheme as you like, build as you will, nothing endures. What is life but a brief jaunt ending in emptiness? Well, no, that's not a particularly uh, happy outlook. Actually, just, are my boots? I'm wearing stilettos. I just noticed that. So easily distracted. Why? I mean, I yeah. Left without, without saying farewell. farewell. As for As your friend, friend, you need not worry. worry. These, These pawns, pawns are far, far more useful, useful to me alive, alive as fuel for the, for the primes. primes. 
not wrong, but like I said, not not exactly the the. That's more the cloud than the silver lining. <laughs> Uh, 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 if you attempt to pull them free, they will die. So, enjoy tackling that conundrum with your comrades. We shall meet again. Not in what he is, my inspired. Oh, no, no. But somewhere more suitably grandiose. Your favorite playmate is ever so eager to see. That explains why the, uh, the primal summoned from these towers look like the deities of the local region, because he's literally using the locals for fuel. Making the talisman. Let's report to the once. Meanwhile, please return to the great work. Thank you. Actually, what was we looking at? 131 yalms to the east. Let's see if we can't grab an aether current or two while we're out here. There it is. See, so yeah, <laughs> 53 yalms, 20 yalms, I should be able to hear it, if not see it. Southeast. Went quite a bit south anyway. So, some just uh, classic traveling music right here. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the the. Three hundred eighty yards east. Yeah, we'll grab it. Ah, uh, just, just uh, with 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 the harmonic intro there. Reminds me of the the uh, opening theme for the old Roseanne show. I was about to say I'm surprised that bird didn't jump me. And it jumps me. Five yards to the east. There it is. Gotta find somebody to lose at least one of these uh, ostrich wannabes.
There we go. No more birdies. Birdie, birdie in the sky. Please don't turdy in my eye. Aren't you glad that cows don't fly? to see if there happen to be any closer to here. And there aren't. Okay. Remember the situation, did on his colleagues included. Call them together for a gathering. Think it would be best if you were the one to explain. Oh, sure, the one who hasn't actually said an audible word the whole game. Yeah, I'll explain to everybody what happened. Oh, Nidhana, can, can you answer me this? Though Nidhana is trapped in the tower, she's still alive, yes? Yeah. Then. Then we must make, a, make warning scales, as many as we can. Prototype works perfectly. This Nidhana proved it peril to herself. Purely through mouth movement. Yeah. <laughs> mouth movement and gestures. Yeah, can't can't forget the gestures. So let's make more scales that she and all those who were taken might be saved. Aye, as alchemists, this is how we will help we'll win the fight. Huzzah! My friends, the Satrap has been made aware of the tragedy. He offers his heartfelt condolences and reiterates his pledge to provide you with all that you require. To that end, he bade me give you this link pearl that he might personally discuss the production of the Corning Scales with you. And for our Aorzean visitors, I bear an invitation. In her report, Mistress Nadana noted your vital contributions to the talisman's creations. Counter, they just emphasis. I mean, you're telling somebody off, you could just be telling them off, but adding the gesture of flipping them the bird gives it emphasis, but it really communicates how much you despise them. So, I'd say gestures count as a form of communication because even if you can't speak to someone like you're driving, you're flipping off that driver that just cut you off, you're communicating with them with just gestures. So, I'd say gestures count. If I came to the Satrap's attention, and in recognition of your deeds, he wishes to meet you. In addition to thanking you in person, he would also discuss further avenues of collaboration. And so, if it is agreeable, will you not accompany me to Rad's at Han for an audience with His Excellency? And let's go meet the Satrap. We would be honored, of course. Closer cooperation between our lands can only be to the benefit of all. Then it is settled. Please come to the gates east of the giant, uh, giant skull grounds, and I'll show you into the city. What yeah, I'm going to do, this promises to be a long... Yeah. I'm going to queue up for a, a random dungeon. Might break up this long walk a bit.
12 yards southeast. We're 91 yards southeast. Should be able to hear it here before long. You see what I mean? That's not somewhere I can go. They got gorillas though! Okay, I gotta figure out how to get around this giant chasm here. Let's swing up there. Take this alchemist or dancer quest. Actually, you know what? For all we know, our character could be deaf and mute. So his gestures are Aorzean Sign Language. And, uh, that's, that is how he communicates. He's just mouthing the words. Uh, but otherwise, you know, communicating via Aorzean Sign Language. So, I mean, that, that would make a completely different kind of story there, wouldn't it? P P Pinky's over here getting all gestury and odd. <laughs> it, it is snowy outside, yes, and his shoes are covered in snow. <laughs> but it is also winter right now, so it's going to be snowy. I'm surprised it hasn't been snowy out before now. So, okay, so I gotta go back to great work to complete that one. Oops. There we go. Two fields in the northeast. Okay, but there's no way into or around this big old canyon. It's like, let me let me get to the areas to find the. Uh, Find the aether current so I can fly around here. Don't make me acquire flight in order to find the stuff that'll let me have flight. <laughs> I'd, I'd say right now I'm calling this test stream a success. Uh, there, 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 there will be more of them. Snowing over most, of, yeah. Well, that that's just it. It's normally we have had some kind of measurable snow by now in the winter. This is the I want to say this is the fourth latest on record that we've had measurable snow and we've also had a lot more uh, 
days above 70. I'm mean, like, we're, we're, we're pushing record number of days above freezing, not above 70. But a lot more, uh, a record number of days above freezing this winter. So... There's definitely not been a, war a normal winter this year. But it seemed like summer was a bit tamer than normal, too. November this year. Well, just to give you an idea, the last three years, we've had... Let's see, uh... Moved ahead for some... Yeah. <laughs> Winter got delayed because of the pandemic. <laughs> no, the, the last three years, we've had... Like, let, right around 10 to 15 days between the last 90 degree day and the first measurable snow. Except for one year, it was almost 30 days. Uh, so it was like 10, 10 days, 30 days, 17 days, or something like that. So for that, for it to, for us to be, you know, literally the start of a new year before we got snow is very unusual. They've been granted special permission. I ask that you remain close to me at all times. Okay. Jeff, everything else got delayed by because of the pandemic. Why not delay winter as well? Uh, a vast rock squats upon Favnir. And to its stony surface clings the city of Rods Athan. Rods Athan. That's that, that 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 just sounds like a fun city name to say. Rods Athan. Ye who enter here are subject to the scrutiny of gods, the gate's most watchful eye. The oh, that's not creepy at all. The truth of all things. That's not creepy at all, having a giant eye. Uh, the cold wave in 2019, yes. Um, Pass beneath its hot and piercing gaze, bearing down like a... Yeah, I was working at the... Uh, yeah, that's, I think that's when we were about... Uh, was that 2019 or was that last year? It would have been 2019 the into 2020. A mixture of sweet incense uh, and smoke. Last winter. The cries yeah. of merchants mingled here with lively melodies accented by dancers' feet. Yeah, we were having all kinds of uh, issues with uh, water flow and Traveling just general temperatures by vivid sound and colors, here then too, once yeah. Swallowed up by patchwork streets. I don't think it got quite that cold. It, it didn't get below 30 below. But it, it did get quite cold here, yes. But no such seems to save her now. To what somber present does that divine eye bear witness? I declare the war. No tag team. <laughs> <laughs> Thumb warring with Pinky here during this cutscene. <laughs> Cutscenes are boring. <laughs> Pin no, one, I... two, three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it didn't feel that go. Yeah. But I think we had the wind here, so it felt that cold, too. Uh, we're talking about last winter, not right now. Megadota. <laughs> But yeah, well, around here they were calling for winter weather advisory. It started at 3 o'clock in the morning, supposed to go all day today. There's points north of here that they're calling for up to 5 or 6 inches of snow to bring you here directly just today. Under. I mean, we need it. We and need it the moisture. Pleasure to see that. Um, the farmers yes. are going to love the, 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 tour of the city moisture slowly away. seeping into the uh, topsoil instead of washing it away like they would with a rain. But uh, I'm afraid, it's sir. still freaking cold. Come, we should head inside.
Your Excellency, may I present our honored visitors. Ah, splendid. Most splendid. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Ahawan, satrap of Radzat Han. Ahawan. Our alchemists tell okay. me your assistance was invaluable in the creation of the warding scale. Such deeds ought to be recognized in person. Thus did I have young Varshan convey you here forthwith. On behalf of my people, may I express to you our sincere gratitude. <sighs> Natana, she was taken. A regrettable <sighs> incident indeed. Her colleagues insist that we honor her wishes and trust in the talisman. That it will be instrumental in saving Nidana and the others. I am eager to hear your Excuse opinion me. on the matter, so let us not stand on ceremony. Come, sit. I think not. This charade has gone on long enough. Show yourself. Forgive what? me, but were you expecting musicians, perhaps? There are no performers waiting in the wings at present, but arrangements could be made if you'd prefer. Nay, he hath the right of it. The time for artifice is past. Raise the, the curtain. curtain. As you wish. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Wrong button. Hit circle instead of X. What? 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 You travel as assistants to the students of Valdesia. But you are known to me. I, I, I got a sneak preview of this part on Pine Street. Even here have we heard of the scions of the Seventh Door. Foxes and for years uncounted hath this isle served as mine abode. And back to uh, I I seem to remember the back to the Heavens Ward uh, expansion. Vritra was either shown or at least mentioned. Vritra of the first brood, sibling to Hreisvelga and Nidhogg. I, mine elder brothers, of Midgard's former spawn, I was last to hatch. Well, isn't this a surprise? We were told Rods at Han had an alliance with a dragon. Not that a great oh. worm sat in the Sartrap's own hall. A necessary subterfuge. Okay. As the true tale of our nation history illustrates most effectively. I'm gonna skip this cutscene. I'm gonna go back to a uh, inn after I run this dungeon, and we will finish that cutscene. Cause I completely forgot I, I'd queued up for that dungeon as the cutscene started. <laughs> so we'll do this dungeon, finish the cutscene, and think then we'll wrap for the day. Pogglefon. Well, well, we gotta move, gotta move, gotta move.
Okay, I just need more than one. Uh, see, where did I put, uh, oh, that's right, that's not here now. What boxes? Gotta have a little cliffhanger now and then in life. Gotta move, gotta move, gotta move. Oh, our healer's down. I just, I know, I saw somebody was down. I didn't notice it was our healer from just now. Um, let's see, swift cast, resurrection. Now see, if that doesn't earn me accommodation at the end of this... That's gonna hurt. There we go. Okay. What took you so long? The amount are in trouble. Let's split up.
now you don't. Bye, team at. Bye, team at. Oh, come on.
There we go. That's easy enough to do. Now mount up. So I can take that flare out there. Had to make that easier to get to. Reworked summoner, so I'm having to get used to the new layout and setup and, and abilities and such. So your, your summons, with the exception of Carbuncle, your summons kind of come and go. Develop new rotations, new new button patterns, and everything for uh, for attacks and fights now. That I
Uh, so I've got 510 on, that would actually be the decrease. I got one commendation out of that. I'll take that one commendation. Okay. So join our comrades in Charlie Inn, muster suitable crew for a party to the Tower of Zot. I'm gonna tune the eighth right here before departing. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, tune the <laughs> So, uh, uh some great work. Finish that quest. Got another uh, Aether Current quest there. Where am I supposed to go speak with Thancred? The main hall. Oh, it's Charlian. That's right. Okay. So, actually, what I'm going to do then. We're gonna go teleport to the Great Work real quick. Turn in that quest. Grab the quest down by the other Aetherite. I'm not gonna worry about going through it, but we're gonna grab it. Uh, so at least we have the markers for it. Then we'll go back to Charlie, and I'm not going to finish this quest with Thancred, but I'm going to go to my private room and rerun that uh, cutscene that I interrupted. Then I'm going to take a break for a bit. I'm going to be on Twitch about 2 o'clock. So... A little less than a half hour here. Uh, they're a civilized tribe. Matenga. What is the So I stay on my side for a time, just to meet with this Katsana person. Sailor told me about. So he pays a fair wage. So she says yes. Okay. So teleport to Charlian. Tired to my room. And in my room, uh, there is the unending journey.
Nope, that's not the one I want. Imagine a nation of unbridled prosperity. Every need <sighs> met. Day after day of unbroken, unshakable peace. Existence fulfilled and ripe for decay. You are a genius without peer, Amon. However, do you conceive of such delightful experiments? That fool okay, this isn't the one. himself with panic when he awoke with the head of a bull. Okay. That was Amon speaking to us. Oops. That's... So let's go. Let's get out of the one that I didn't want to get into and go right back into it. How's Imagine. That? So it should be the one that starts with a creepy eye. No. Wait a minute. I actually have to finish the quest, talk with Thancred to finish the quest before the cutscene will show in the unending journey. Oh, so that's the other, the other. That's the other quest. <sighs> okay, but now I've got the other side of that, that almost parallel running quest. Now that I've finished that, retire to my room. A vast rock okay. squats upon Favnir, and to its stony surface clings the city of Rods at Han. Ye who enter here are subject to the scrutiny of gods, the gate's most watchful eye. The orb which beholdeth the truth of all things. Pass beneath its hot and piercing gaze, bearing down like a second midday sun. The fragrant haze, a mixture of sweet incense and acrid smoke. The cries of merchants mingled here with lively melodies accented by dancers' feet. Travelers seduced by vivid sound and colors were once swallowed up by patchwork streets. But no such scenes to savor now. To what somber present does that divine eye bear witness?
Here we are, Megadota. It seems a shame to bring you here directly, under normal circumstance. And it would have been our pleasure to see them. But... Skipping this match can be sad already. I'm afraid so. Come. We should head inside, yes. Oh, oops. Ah, I get button happy sometimes. Then I get unhappy with me being button happy. Okay, here's here's the big reveal cutscene that we were interrupted on. Your Excellency, may I present our honored visitors? Now if I could... Ah, splendid. Allow me to introduce... Okay, yes. Our alchemist... Such deed. Yes, yes, yes. Donna, she was taken. And I think beyond the immediate response... A regrettable incident. What I, what I say doesn't insist matter. insist that we honor her wishes. Okay. I am eager to hear your opinion on the matter, so... Come sit. Stinian's gonna say no. I think not. This Chirac... Forgive me. Nee. As you wish. You travel as assistants to the students of Valdez. Yeah. But you are home to me. The dragon reveals himself. Even here have we heard of the science of the seventh dawn. I am Vritra, and for years uncounted have this isle served as my abode. Vritra of the first boon, sibling to Hreisvelga and Nidhogg. I, mine elder brothers. Of Midgard's former spawn, I was last to hatch. Well, isn't this a surprise? We were told Rods at Harn had an alliance with a dragon. Not that a great worm sat in a Sartrap's own hall. A necessary subterfuge, as the true tale of our nation history illustrates most effectively. In the beginning, the rock upon which our city is built was home to Vitra, and Vitra alone. So he was here first. In time, the ancestors of the Matanga came to the island and established a foothold. But never did they dare disturb the worm's lair. Next to arrive with the Aura, adopting the example of the Akasodra allies, they too treated Vitra with reverence and respect. And for many years, an understanding between our forefathers and the Great Worm endured. Until marauding heroes from the mainland came, threatening to shatter our peace and tranquility. Well, once again, humans came in and screwed it all up. When it seemed all would be drowned in blood, Vitra himself came forth and quelled the rising conflict. A peaceful accord was reached, and oaths sworn in Vitra's name. Thus begun the dragon's governance of the fledgling state, which was to grow into Rad's Atan. But if Vitra is still here, then your position as Sartrap is just... Assuring. Ornamental. <laughs> yes. And one which my family has performed faithfully for generations. Many envy the great worms their power. Were it known that I ruled here, where the fires of war would burn without end, I would not be the flame which consumeth my people. 
Those few who joined me in laying our country's foundations were, perforce, sworn to secrecy. Your eye, it was taken. <laughs> Tis here, buried within a semblance of flesh. It's not necessarily taken, but the given. The body before thee is but a simulacrum, constructed by the finest artisans of Razatan. With mine eye nestled within, it doth serve as an inconspicuous vessel for my will. So he's a spy bot! An eye filled spy bot. That would explain why I felt the presence of a dragon upon our first meeting. I am woven with words fashioned to deceive such arcane senses. Though twas short lived, it seemeth thy fusion with my brother hath left thee much altered. Estinian one blood. From the very first, we sensed the nature of one another, yet did neither one of us bear his fangs. That is all I need know of thee for now. With my secret thus revealed, I have for you a proposal, not as a worm of the first brood, but as the ruler of Rats and With all haste must we take in hand the finished talismans and breach this foul spire. Thence, should it lay within our power to spell its wicked influence, Yet even with the assurance of the warding scales, the narrow confines of the tower doth limit the size of our force. We'll go in and blow it up, we've got to do it with a small amount strength of strength in numbers, thou must choose thy soldiers with care. Just so. Yet though our radiant host is formidable, I see a sure path before me. I'm going to grab some friends and we'll go in. <laughs> Thou and thy comrades have contended with a multitude of primal beings. Most recent it's cast down false gods in Padlethan and Cartanau, I am told. Tis upon that strength I would call. The Scions have proven themselves the most capable, and I ask that you serve as the tip of our spear. Talismans would, of course, be provided for each of thy companions, and should you agree to this undertaking, more will be provided to make use of as you see fit. There's no denying it's a dangerous proposition, but the rewards may far outweigh the risk. Just think of what we might accomplish if we could equip all our allies with warding scales. I worry, however, that even the four of us may be too few for what you have in mind. Might we regroup with our friends first to discuss the matter? Tis no trifling task that I have laid before you. Go. Steal your hearts and hone your plans. Such time as you require shall be spent in crafting your protective charms. It seems a quick trip back to Charlien is in order. Justinian's already Will going. Thou not lend thine aid? Whether your request be made as a great worm or the ruler of Rods at Han, I see no reason to refuse. Nor will I. Okay. So now that we've seen that whole cutscene, <laughs> I need to finish the other side of that story quest line. But I'm not going to do that today because I need to 
I'm going to take a quick break. Um, I will be live over on the purple side, as some have called it. Uh, I'm going to... It says starting at 2, I'm going to start at 2.15. So, uh, I will get things wrapped up here. Thanks for coming out and watching and helping with this test stream boxes. Let me know how the, the audio setup works. Um, oh, sorry, stretch. <sighs> I will see everybody out and about and around. And thanks again for coming out. I got a scene change here. Uh... Yeah, if, if, you know, catching this up on the VOD, hit the subscribe button if you liked what you had to see. Uh, there will be more of this. I will do some more Final Fantasy XIV on other days um, here on YouTube. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button to get the notifications. Um, and I'll just, I'll see everybody around. Have yourselves a great day. Thanks for coming out and hanging out.